Welcome to 30 Days of Marketing Mavens. 30 days, 30 experts, 30 marketing niches. Brought to you by Profit Master Business Solutions. More leads, more sales, and more revenue for your small or medium-sized business. Click findnewrevenue.com to learn more. Now here's your host, Howard Walpuff. Welcome back to 30 Days of Marketing Mavens, brought to you by Profit Master Business Solutions. Again, I'm Howard Walpuff. Thank you so much for joining us today. Again, another great conversation coming up about marketing. Uh, today, we are so fortunate to have Greg Parapenko, of, the CEO of H Hour Marketing, here with us, who really has a vast knowledge of the beginnings of the internet and, and, and jumping in and, and really rolling up his sleeves to learn how things were building and as they were developing. And uh, Greg, really, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Howard, for such a fine intro. I'm glad to be here. So g- give us all a little background of how you got started with marketing. Sure. So uh, the year was 1997, and uh, I was a teenager when my parents uh, uprooted our family back in Russia and brought us to Canada, settled down in Toronto. So uh, first few months, I didn't know a lot of people, but fortunately, my father bought me a computer. So, you know, after, you know, doing the video games and messing around with different stuff, I got bored and uh, actually found uh, these forums where people were teaching uh, how to code and build web pages and stuff like that. So I actually first uh, built my my first web page in around, you know, end of 97 and in 98, I built a website that actually um, was based around like a pretty popular topic uh, in Russian and it uh, actually became viral before going viral was a term. Uh, it got featured on national TV in Russia and got a, a lot of buzz for about a year. I didn't know how to monetize it, unfortunately. So uh, when the fad died, uh, that, that was the end of that story. However, um, I actually met some people uh, who taught me how to make money online. And so I made my first money online in 1998 by placing banner ads uh, who would pay CPC per click and just basically spamming this <laughs> uh, link directories online to try to get traffic every day to the site. So that worked for a few months and then it stopped working like any you know, short-lived tactic. Mm-hmm. And then I went back to the normal life, got a, an education, uh, joined the military, joined the workforce, spent about seven years uh, working in corporate in Toronto on Bay Street, uh, doing you know, finance and project management work i worked for the biggest gold mining company in the world and you know it was a fun ride but i was still not satisfied and as i was about to have my first child in 2007 i um discovered this forum i think where people were doing affiliate marketing so thankfully i knew how to make websites and uh, i built my first uh, i guess lead generation funnel as you call it now and uh taught, taught myself google adwords and uh, launched and, of course, lost about five or six grand right off the bat. But um, I didn't get discouraged. I didn't quit. And uh, I analyzed and learned what would work. Uh, a couple of things actually did end up working. And next year, I actually made the money back and made a little bit more money on top. And then the year after, I made probably my annual salary um, at the corporate work I was doing. So... I decided to make it into a business, and um, that's when I registered uh, the company called H Hour Marketing. So that's a military term uh, that signifies the beginning of a mission. And uh, in 2011, I went all in full time, and uh, has been uh, a wild ride ever since. So Google really is the, the end all, the be all, and and mastering ads is really the way that companies can go from doing well to doing exceptionally well. Um, what what was some of the the, uh, the 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 pitfalls and bumps along the road that you that you experienced as you were trying to develop into the the, the master of of, uh, of Google Ads as you are now? Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, definitely, it wasn't a smooth ride. So, a couple of notable moments. Uh, I mean, there were so many, but uh, I actually lost uh, Google accounts uh, twice, uh, which means I was completely banned from the platform by Google for breaking the rule the rules. Wow. And both times I was able to work with Google to get uh, back onto the platform and get back into the good books. It took about a month or two each time and, uh, you know, a lot of hard work and due diligence. But uh, uh, I think it's important to maintain good relationships with such uh, big players and uh, instead of, you know, looking at them as enemies or the necessary evil or, you know, this big evil corporation, look at them as partners and 
uh, I think that's the way the way to do it. So number one, number one thing is like don't break the rules um, for sure. And um, you know, there were other mistakes. Um, you know, something silly like omitting a decimal point and bidding fifty five dollars instead of fifty five cents. That's probably uh, the fastest thousand uh, dollars I've ever spent on Google. I would hope so, you were number one at that point. Um, yeah, it's unfortunately that uh, still didn't uh, didn't make it profitable. Um, yeah, so those are probably two two of the most notable things that happened. But I think the, the the story out of that is the fact that they banned you twice was a that they, they let you back the first time and obviously they let you back the second time, which really is a testament to. Uh, Again, building that relationship and what you've been able to, to bring to the table. That uh, I'm sure it was, was quite a nerve wracking few months in the process. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's like basically getting a rug pulled from under you. And if that's the only source of traffic, if that's the only source of income, that's really scary. Just uh, not having that uh, all of a sudden, like when you wake up and you see the big red line across the screen, that's, uh, that's not a good feeling. So, I, I, hopefully, uh, no one else has really experienced that. But obviously, you now know that if you see a big red line across your Google screen, then uh, then, then you're in a little bit of trouble, and you have to uh, get, get a lot of work ahead of you. But yeah. uh, that's people are calls. experiencing it uh, as we speak with uh, their Facebook ad accounts, and uh, yes, that's the same thing. Then some people are able to get it back by uh, working diligently with Facebook, showing them that they're interested in a long-term partnership and logistic cash grab. Um, and uh, some people are not allowed back on the platform because of the, the things that they've done or the things that they continue to do. But let, let's, let's turn on the, on the more positive end mm -hmm. of some of the, the real successes that you've had with, uh, with Google Ads and how that really has benefited some of the, the, the companies that you, that you work with. Yeah, for sure. So over the years, we've done a lot of things like uh, started in lead generation. So did uh, personal loans, financial uh, products, insurance. Uh, then we did things like home services, solar panels, moving, um, and uh, software and apps. Like when apps became a thing, uh, did a lot of apps. Some of the, you know, I guess overall results, we've spent over eight figures in Google over the years. And um, right now we're spending between ten to $20,000 a day. Uh, on just Google traffic alone. So managing that is no, no easy feat for sure. sure. Um, what else? I mean, I've got to visit uh, Google headquarters a couple of years ago in California. That was uh, pretty awesome. Uh, the things I hear about that place are just amazing. What a, what a unique working environment for the, uh, for the employees there. Yeah, really good catering that, uh, that much I can tell. <laughs> So, so let me ask you the question I'm asking everyone uh, who, who comes on. What's the number one strategy that's really working well for you and your clients to achieve the marketing goals? Sure. So um, I was actually re reviewing it this morning. So currently on Google, it's working for me uh, because my clients are global and they're looking for like maximum reach. Uh, um, my strategy is to create the campaign structure that covers all available um, inventory or basically showing all kinds of ads available to all the people across all Google properties, be it YouTube, Gmail, Google Display Network, Google Search, um, Google Shopping. Uh, basically, the strategy is to be almost like omnipresent on the, in the Google ecosystem and having the campaign structure and the types of ads that uh, enable you to be everywhere. Yeah, having the the knowledge of what options are out there already starts you off uh, with with being able to, to strategize and, and come up with the, the right type of concepts for you. But uh, obviously, the, the 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 right information of someone who knows what they're doing definitely guides a company in the in the right direction. Because it's it's, it's a it's, it's a serious budget line that uh, that you're uh, that you're using to to find the right ROI. Yeah, for sure. The biggest mistake I see currently with people working on Google is they just think of Google as uh, still AdWords, just the Google search. That's part of the reason why they're rebranded because, like I alluded to earlier, Google Ads uh, tap into 90% of the internet through all of their properties, Gmail, 
I think they have 30 or 40% of uh, webmail um, market in the world. Uh, YouTube is the second biggest search engine in the world and also I think the biggest video platform. Uh, then they have uh, their banner ads sprinkled all over the internet and uh, I think the last statistics I read was that it covers up to 90% of the entire World Wide Web. Uh, that's pretty remarkable. So there's all this other um, inventory on Google available that a lot of people either ignore or don't know about or choose not to use. And I think that's uh, really shooting themselves in the foot. Yeah, absolutely. Because there's, there's so many different strategies to find those different audiences in those places. Um, I know I see, I'm, I have uh, Gmail, so I see uh, little banners on a, on a regular yep. basis coming through, um, aside from whatever you find running all the time on, uh, on, on YouTube. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a real good statement for these companies to really have a broad sense of, of, of really your targets and finding the right ways to, uh, to, to target them and spending your money wisely throughout these, uh, these, these different options. Yeah, that's, uh, that's right. Well, Greg, I really thank you so much for, for joining us today. Really, that, that, just having that, that basic understanding of Google, which some of it is, is simple enough, but people really don't understand what, uh, what's, what the mapping is out there for them. So thank you very much for, for joining us and sharing that with us. Oh, thank you for having me. Well, and uh, what's the best way for people to get in contact with you if they want to learn more? Yeah, so um, our corporate website is h-our.biz. And you can get in touch with us uh, there through the contact form. Or if you want to hit me up personally, I'm on Instagram. It's uh, bratalk48, uh, B-R-A-T-O-K-4-8. And, uh, yeah, you can uh, just DM me there. All right, perfect. So, Greg, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, I know I appreciate it. And I'm sure that everyone else out there really really got a really good lesson for about Google from you. Yeah, I hope uh, it's useful and uh, it uh, teaches people to look beyond just search. Exactly. And, and that's a, it's a really good statement right there. Just there's so much that you just need to not look at what's in front of you. There's a lot of things behind those pieces that will help you grow your business and, uh, and find the right ways to market to your uh, right targets. So take this information and obviously everything else that you're learning on these, uh, this 30 day journey and, uh, and, and soak it in and, and uh, test it out. That's really the best way for you to, uh, to help your business grow. And go out, have a great day today, and we'll see you on the next segment. Thank you. Thank you.